right to your child. Child support doesn't dictate what type of visitation you have. The only time child support plays hand in hand with visitation if you want your child support reduced. So if you have visitation where is you have a number of overnights, like Granville said, and I told him about it, the number of overnights determines how much your child support is basically going to be, what type of credit you're going to get. Now, I said earlier there's only three states in the whole state of or the whole of the United States that works with the Melson formula, Hawaii, Minnesota, and Delaware. So I'm going to speak about Delaware's Melson formula. Jersey, Pennsylvania, Fox, Maryland uses the shared method. So I'm assuming everybody here is from Delaware, so we're going to focus only on Delaware. Okay? The Melson formula is a calculation that takes both parties' income and uses it based on the SOLA um, standard of living adjustment. The federal government sends down a mandate every year regarding your standard of living. So if you make $100,000, your standard of living should not be up to $100,000. It should be up to about $50,000. So that's what it is. So to take both parties' income, calculate it, subtract the highest, highest tax bracket there is, because most of us, as we know, we want to get more money back in our paycheck, so we claim 10 or exempt. But when you go for child support, this subtract the highest, so it's one or zero. So you're now you're given your 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 they're charging you higher for your taxes. So you get a break there. But that's what the Melson formula is. The bottom line, before you reach to the bottom line of that calculation, they're gonna ask you, how many overnights do you have? That's where visitation comes in play. Okay. How many overnights mean how many overnights you have with the child? child. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So a lot of guys like to do the every other weekend. In my business, we don't have weekend dads, okay? So if you want that child support to reflect some form of discount or what you feel is that you can understand, I always do this. And I know I'm a devil advocate when the guys come into my office. I'm like, you know what? Think about it. You're spending more time, you're building that foundation, you're building memories. And when you really think about it, like, you know what, I didn't think about it that way. So you don't, just to keep in mind of the fact that if I have more time, I will reduce my child support. That should not be your purpose. Your purpose should be to spend time with your child. So I redo the calculation. I redo their child the, um, the visitation. When my fathers leave our office and walk into a judge's chamber or a mediation chamber, they are so prepared. They go in there with three schedules. I always give my fathers three schedules. None of it includes weekend visitation. Weekends might be included, but it's a visitation um, schedule that they, will, that they can live by. The judges love the fact that you're involved, okay? Because you gotta understand, if a party cannot reach an agreement mediation, because that's your that's your forum to re-argue. Re-argue means you can argue, you can negotiate, you can do whatever you want to do. That's what mediation is all about. It's all about negotiation. You cannot take that negotiation in front of a judge. They will not tolerate it. So when you get into mediation and you're talking about well, the phone, the child support calculation comes to eight hundred dollars a month, and you and you sit there and say, "Well, I can't afford that." In your back of your head, like, I can't afford that. And she said, "That's what I want." And you say, "Well, I'll go ahead. That's what she want." You just selling yourself off for, for failure. Why would you set yourself up like that? And there's a lot of people that do that because they feel that whatever. If I say I can't afford it, the judge don't give it to me. Never think what the judge is gonna say. Don't do that. No mediator should tell you what the judge is going to, nobody, not even an attorney, is supposed to tell you, I know this judge, I don't know. Because you never know. Judges are humans. Okay? He can have a good day today and come and say, okay, you know what? I see you paid your child support on time every month. It's, it's 800 you can't afford it. What can you afford, sir? I've been there. I've been with the courts for over 12 years. I've seen it. It can happen. Okay? And there'll be some days they'll be coming there as a judge who just had a horrible case before you walked in. And you walk in there, your pants sagging, your shirt all over the place, and you standing there like this. Okay, $800. You're not even going to ask any questions. Okay? So it's all, de it depends on you. Don't set yourself up for failure. Mm -hmm. So that's where the child support and visitation come into play. Mm -hmm. Okay? Child support is very important. And the word child support, they're not going to change it now because, you know, people are understanding what child support is more now. But when child support came out, it was actually to help people cover the cost of raising their child. It wasn't like it is now, okay? It was back in the day, child support was, okay, you, 
you make fifty dollars, you make fifty dollars, it costs one hundred fifty dollars to raise the child. Mm -hmm. You bring you bring twenty five, you bring twenty five, we'll raise the child on fifty. So that's what it's going to be. Not anymore. When the Melson formula came into play in the early eighties, they started looking at things. It was supposed to help parents raise children. Now, if you really look at it, the income ratio has gone up, cost of living has gone up, um, standard of living adjustment has gone up. So it's not the same. So for instance, you're making $2,500 gross a month. Mom's making $1,500 gross a month. It costs $1,200 to pay rent. You gotta buy food, you gotta pay gas, gas the car up, all that stuff. After that formula is calculated, dad is only allowed to pay $450 a month. Is that fair? Seriously. No. Mm -hmm. Remember, I said, you gotta pay rent, you gotta buy food, you gotta buy clothes. A lot of dads say, well, I gotta do the same thing. No, remember. With whom the child lives with, 95% of the time have more care for that child. Mm. Remember that. That's one thing you must understand. They have more care. Whether it's school, school trips, doctor's visits, little incidentals, child coming home, lost his backpack, gotta go buy another backpack. Running from a dog, drop, loses a shoe, the dog eats the shoes up, gotta go buy shoes. He's not gonna wait for that child support check to come in. Well, the child's not gonna go to school with one shoe on. Because you know who's gonna be called? Social services. And then next thing you know, the child is taken away from you. Okay? So you gotta understand. So I hear a lot of my fathers say, well, I'm paying child support already. And you know, and, and the child came to me with, with some old beat up sneakers and, and holes in his jeans and you know, and stuff like that. I said, well, have you spoken with mom? Communication, have you talked to her about it? Well, I don't want to talk to her. I can't get along with her. I can't do this. Fine. This way we come in. We teach you how to co-parent. We teach you how to communicate. There's more ways to communicate than just verbal. You can do a journal. You can email. And you can text. And the family courts in all 50 states will tell you written information is admissible in court. Verbal is not. Okay? So it's hearsay. So you can't say, I told her already. I talked to her. Judge in the right mind is going to say, oh, yeah, I believe what you say. No, no. Okay? So I tell fathers, child support is just a third percent. It's like 3% of reimbursement back to mom. Or vice versa, because I have a lot of fathers now that are, um, who have custody of their kids, who have the children live with them primarily, that came through our program, was able to get sole custody, was able to get primary placement. I'm so happy with that. But when mom is paying child support, it's a totally different ball game. Okay. Now it's not fair. Why should mom pay child support? It's not the, it's, that's not the norm. Father should always pay child support. Mom shouldn't pay child support. But child support, like I said, is, a, is 3% reimbursement of what you pay. So this is what I say that. I always take a piece of a pie, or a whole pie actually. There's eight slices in a pie. In that eight slice, one of those slices is your child that you share. Okay, well there's two children, it's two slices, three children, it's three slices. That pie represents your household, okay? You have a roof, you have to pay rent, you have to pay water, if you do, you have to pay utilities in the home, you have to buy food, um, you have to do a lot of things, you have to buy a lot of amenities for the house, um, toiletries for the house. So within the house, your child lives in that house. Okay, let's, let's change the, the equation. Now, your child's mother have a boyfriend or a husband Fathers often say, well, there's two income in the house. Why am I paying child support? Where's my child support going? This is what it is. So eight slices, the child slice is split into two. The whole entire eight pie is split into two slices, two pieces. One slice have two pieces. Now, picture this, because I usually draw it on the board. So you have eight slices. You cut each slice into two. Now you have 16, right? Your child's mother and her significant other pays for seven of those slices, she has 50, he has 50, she has 50, he has 50, okay? Equally. Now it comes to your slice. Your slice, your child is split into two. It's mom's slice and your slice, right? Now, mom is paying half of what she and her significant other is supposed to pay. So if the rent is $1,200, the utilities, let's say she pays, it comes to $1,500 a month, okay? To make it easy, let's say it's $1,200 a month. She has to pay $600 of that, okay, a month. Then don't forget your child. Then she also has to take care of your child, and you have to pay your child's portion, okay? So your child's portion, the, the child support calculation, the formula comes up to $300 a month. You tell me it's going to cost $300 to raise that child in one month. 
when mom is already paying 600, not even what she's paying for your child, but she's paying 600 to make sure the child has a roof over his head, make sure the child gets to his or her games every day, make sure the child gets to school, make sure the child has food to eat, make sure, you know, has clothes on his back. Do you really think that the $300 that you pay on a monthly basis is taking care of everything? Honestly, do you really, really think so? No. But you have to, you see, when, when people are blinded by anger, they don't think about it. They think the fact that, they think about the fact that, well, I'm paying this child support, and the money's not going to the child, but I see she got her nails done, she got her hair done, she got her shoes, new shoes, he, she's right, this, this is the one I like. Mm -hmm. She's riding with that cat, he got new rims on his car, and that's my child support money. But don't get me wrong, there are mothers out there that don't do what they're supposed to do. I'm not speaking about those mothers. Okay, I'm speaking about those who actually are doing what they're supposed to do for the child. Okay, yes. Okay, uh, this is this is 